guys. It's Jessica. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I picked up for my youngest for the new school year. She's only three. And I'm not a big um, believer in starting formal academics, you know, at such an early age. I really just got her a little something because I knew when she saw the two big kids working on theirs that she would want something that is just hers and so um, I went ahead and I had bought language arts for both of my other children from the good and the beautiful and so I was looking through their pre-k course and it is just adorable it seems like so much fun and we're just gonna take it slowly and um, if I can get a little bit of work out of her each day that's fine if she's not feeling it that's fine too I just really feel like you know kids at um, such an early age really learn best through play and so I did pick up some you know play type things but um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I, what, what came with this um, pre-k course um, from the good and the beautiful it comes with the course book and the course book um, starts off um, it, it talks about if your child is ready for this um, course if your child can count to five and recognize pictures of and say words for apple, monkey, alligator, garbage can, elephant, and dinosaur, then you can start. And so she's um, super ready if that's the criteria. Um, and then lesson one starts with, you know, how many words are in the alphabet. Uh, I mean, how many letters are in the alphabet. Every letter makes a sound, that kind of thing. Read this cute little poem. And then, um, of course, the next page is, you know, you talk about the letter A. They trace the letter A, and then they circle, let's see what it says. It says, circle all the uppercase A's. So they have to, you know, distinguish between an uppercase and lowercase A. And then um, it talks about counting practice. Go on and see how high your child can uh, count. And then the next page is cutting practice, which I think is um, cute, working on those motor skills and stuff. And then it goes into lesson two. So you see just kind of basic. And again, if it takes us three days to do one lesson, I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to have something on hand for her for when she wants to be included. If she is very much wanting to do schoolwork, and I know that she will once she sees the other kids, um, then I want to be able to include her. So I picked that up. Also, um, a, along with this course book comes um, these flip books and they are just the cutest things. This one, uh, whoop, sorry about that. This one right here is um, for the letters A through F. So it'll instruct you kind of in the course book when, when to use these. But I just thought it was, it's just adorable. You flip it and then, um, so the goal is, okay, let's find, if we're going to start with the letter A, let's find the lowercase a. And so, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, and so there's the lowercase a, and now let's find the picture that starts with the letter A. So you have a dog, a bird, a fox, an elephant, an alligator. So then you, um, you know, you can put them together that way and so I just think it's super cute they have one A through F um, G through L M through S and T through Z and so I thought those were really cute it also comes with um, some precious little games like it comes with a little letter cube that I just you know cut out and then you tape it together and um, that's included with it um, cute little games like this um, feed the elephant right here and so you take a little uh, exacto knife and cut across that dotted line and then these cute little peanuts right here have letters on it so I would say to her you know can you find the lowercase C find the lowercase C and feed your elephant and so you know it yeah I just think it's cute she's really gonna enjoy it I can already tell um, then there's this little game called mouse house and it's kind of the same um, principle there's these little tiny houses with letters all over them you see that one has let's see what is that letter the, the letter F 
um, uppercase F, lowercase D. So you put all the houses out and this little tiny mouse hides behind one of the houses. So she has to say what the letter is before she can check under there. So she could say, you know, lowercase um, D and, you know, and then after a while I could even say, and what does the D say? And then when she tells me that, um, then she can look under the um, house to see if she can find her mouse. So I just thought that was cute as well. Another one that I just know she's going to love is this fly, um, Swat the Fly game. So it comes with all these little um, flies and again they have the letters and then um, if you say the right letter and the right sound then you get to smack the fly. How cute is that with the fly swatter? Um, so I just thought it was cute. It also comes with like memory games and um, whatever this one is, hide and seek furniture, which is pretty much the same concept as like Mouse House, you know, find the, find something hidden behind a piece of furniture. Um, it comes with a little number slider here. So you take your numbers and slide it down in there and we, we review our numbers and all that. So it comes with some cute little games and that's all that's included with um, the pre-K course from The Good and the Beautiful. Um, here's some of the letter letter memory parts that I was telling you about. But I also picked up, um, when Toys R Us was going out of business, um, I went through and got a couple of things from them. I got this big preschool worksheet book um, for ages three through five, and it looks cute too. So if we wanted to drag out um, the letter A even longer or whatever, um, we could find um, some coordinating um, sheets from this book to to do. It also works on the fine motor skills, um, which I really like. So you just trace from the beginning to your um, to your animal right there. So it really works on the holding of the pencil or crayon and the motor skills that they need um, for that early, you know, in life. So just the those basic little skills and then of course you get into your letters and you know and things like that here's one for the letter H coloring sheets and just a really cute book um, I just thought it would be um, cute busy work if I need if I can't be right there with her but need something to give her that she can work on or color or whatever I just thought it would be a cute little companion to our um, course book and I can kind of you know um, let me see if the sheets are perforated in this they are so I could pull out um, a couple of uh, sheets at a time or whatever we needed to do to coordinate it with what I already have and also at Toys R Us I bought these cute little lacing cards to help her um, it comes with the little shoelaces up here and then all the little animals different colors so we could you know we could talk about colors which she already knows her colors and everything but anyway that's what I have for her so far we're gonna do some more things like um, I'm really gonna get some play-doh and um, a little like more other little foam puzzles like this she loves to put this together and say her ABC's I just picked that up from the Dollar Tree but um, just some cute little things and like I say we're just gonna go at her pace when she wants to do schoolwork I will be more than happy to do schoolwork with her but if she is through and done um, then she can play of course we read lots of stories here at our house anyway and I just have always found that that's the way that they really learn best at that age anyway play imagination and reading great stories so that does it for my three-year-olds you know curriculum for this year um, I wanted to have her something but we're just gonna have a good time with it and um, go at her speed so if you guys have any more other great ideas of like hands-on type activities um, for preschoolers like um, like the lacing cards or play-doh or any other thing that you can think of that maybe hadn't occurred to me yet um, that I don't want to pick up that would make great little um, you know hands-on like interactive type learning um, learning methods then uh, holler at me and I'll be glad to I mean that, that would just be awesome so anyway I just wanted to um, to show you guys uh, what we're doing for my little one this year and um, I, I guess that does it for tonight I'll, I'll see you guys later bye